In this video, we're overclocking the AMD Ryzen 9 9950X up to 5.9 gigahertz in five minutes or less using the Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Hero motherboard and water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Don't just copy my settings. If you want to learn how to overclock this kind of a system, have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, switch to the Extreme Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to Expo 2. That makes the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5, 6400 and associated primary memory timings and voltage. Switch to the Advanced menu. Enter the AMD Overclocking submenu. This will provide us with all the advanced AMD CPU overclocking tools. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here we can use the AMD Precision Boost Overdrive 2 toolkit to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 boosting algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Advanced. Set PBO limits to Motherboard. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters, PPT, TDC and EDC, according to the motherboard order rules. On this motherboard, we find that the following values have changed. Set Precision Boost Overdrive Scalar Control to Manual. That enables us to override the warranted silicon stress level, or FIT, which is one of the Precision Boost limiters governing the maximum allowed operating voltage. Set Precision Boost Overdrive Scaler to 10x. This increases the fit to 10 times the factory fused value. Now, the maximum voltage when all 16 cores are active is 1.37 volt, up 25 millivolt from the default limit of 1.345 volt. Set CPU Boost Clock Override to Enabled Positive. That unlocks the ability to increase the CPU's programmed if max or maximum frequency up to 200 megahertz in steps of 25 megahertz. For dual CCD Ryzen 9000 CPUs, it's crucial to know that each CCD has its own if max and the override applies to both CCDs independently. Set max CPU boost clock override to 200. This increases the FMAX of the 8 Zen 5 CPU cores in CCD0 to 5950 MHz, and it increases the FMAX of the 8 Zen 5 CPU cores in CCD1 to 5650 MHz. Enter the Curve Optimizer submenu. Here's where the real magic happens as Curve Optimizer allows us to fine tune the VF curve for each core in a positive or negative direction. Set Curve Optimizer to per CCD. This is the best approach for dual CCD Ryzen 9000 CPUs because each CCD has its own VFT curve and may have very different undervolting capabilities. We will set a negative Curve Optimizer for both CCDs. Setting a negative offset means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency and boost to a higher frequency at a specific voltage. Note that the Curve Optimizer settings are highly CPU specific, so you should find the best values for your CPU rather than copying mine. Set CCD0 Curve Optimizer Sign to negative. Set CCD0 Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 15. Set CCD1 Curve Optimizer Sign to negative. Set CCD1 Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 10. Then save and exit the BIOS. We rerun some benchmarks to ensure everything works as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark results are higher. The GeoMean performance improvement is plus 5.15% and we get a maximum improvement of plus 16.54% in PY Prime. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5900 MHz. When running the OCCT CPU SSE stability test, the average CPU core effective clock is 5137 MHz with 1.117 volts. The average CPU temperature is 95.1 degrees Celsius. The average CPU package power is 242.1 watts. And that's it. Thank you for watching and the patrons for the support and see you next time.